This is Princess Alice of Albany. She was the last surviving granddaughter of Queen Victoria. Princess Alice was born in 1883 in Windsor Castle. She was the only daughter of Prince Leopold, the Duke of Albany, who was the youngest of the four sons of Queen Victoria. Oh, I forgot to say, that is Princess Alice there with her grandmother. Alice's mother, seen here, was Princess Helena of Waldeck. Unfortunately, her father died when she was only one. He suffered from haemophilia and actually Alice inherited that gene and was a carrier of it. Princess Alice's only sibling was a younger brother born the following year. He was called Prince Charles Edward. Following the death of her father, her mother raised her at Claremont House in Surrey. She was taught all the usual accomplishments a girl of the upper classes was expected to know, including riding, sewing and painting, etc. As part of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee celebrations, Princess Alice rode in the carriage procession. In fact, alongside her many, many cousins, Alice took part in many royal occasions over the years. In 1904, at the age of 21, Alice married her second cousin once removed, Prince Alexander of Teck. He was the brother-in-law to Edward, Prince of Wales, the future Edward VII, and obviously he therefore was the brother of Mary of Teck, the future Queen Mary. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel in Windsor, and she was attended by five bridesmaids, all of whom were her cousins. Alice had three children, but sadly only her daughter, Princess May of Teck, survived her. Prince Rupert died at the age of about 21 in a car accident, and Prince Morris, he died of haemophilia aged only five months. In 1917, she and her husband renounced their German Teck title, and instead they were granted the title of Earl and Countess of Athlone. Between 1924 and 1931, Alice accompanied her husband, who was the Governor General of South Africa, and they made their home in South Africa for that period. And then during the Second World War, Princess Alice accompanied her husband to Canada, where he served as Governor General from 1940 to 1946 in Ottawa. As Viceroy of Canada, Alice supported the war effort. She held a number of positions, including Honorary Commandment of the Women's Royal Canadian Naval Service and Honorary Air Commandment of the Royal Canadian Air Force Women's Division. Following the two world wars, Alice returned to England, where she was actively involved in many social engagements as part of the royal family. During her lifetime, she attended four coronations. That of Edward VII, George V, George VI and Elizabeth II. She was also at the investiture of the Dutch Queen Juliana. While in London, she and her husband lived in a grace and favour apartment at Kensington Palace. Incredibly, during her life, she lived through six reigns. Obviously, that of her grandmother, Victoria, then her uncle, Edward VII, then George V, her cousin and brother-in-law, then Edward VIII, who was her first cousin once removed, and also her nephew, and then George VI, who again was her first cousin once removed and nephew, and then finally Elizabeth II, who was her first cousin twice, twice removed and her grandniece. Princess Alice was also incredibly close to the members of the royal family. Here we see her at the christening of Princess Anne, who is actually being blocked by her brother there. And here we see a later photo of her accompanying Princess Anne to the theatre. And here we see her again, sat next to the Princess Royal at the christening of Peter Phillips, uh, Princess Anne's son. Princess Alice was a widow for a long time. Her husband had actually died in 1957. She carried on living until 1981, when she died a month before her 98th birthday at Kensington Palace. At the time of her death, she was the longest living British princess of royal blood.